Welcome to TingsNice.com. I know this is something new. I am in uh, Sayreville, New Jersey, uh, taking a little baby road trip to see my friends. And um, I just thought I'd take this opportunity to be outside because it's lovely and I'm early. Everybody else is late. It's supposed to start at 5. It's definitely 6 o'clock. But anyway, um, I was hit up early this morning um, by one of my followers. Shout out to you. And she had asked me to do a blog post on picking a carnival costume. I was like, okay, I got you, definitely. So I figured, hey, while it's fresh in my brain, let's, let's do this. And it's something that I am very familiar with. So when I choose costumes, I'm really not that picky. However, it does have to be attractive. I, I wanna make sure that it complements my skin. I wanna make sure that it looks presentable. I want to make sure that it's practical, right? So sometimes you'll see costumes and I'll have all these extra pieces and I'm like, that's going to fall down in 30 minutes. Who do you think is wearing that and why? I'm not going to throw anybody under the bus. I'm not going to show you pictures. You know what I mean. The costume has to make sense and I have to get my money's worth. I'm not a big fan of headpieces anymore. When I first started playing masks, headpieces were my thing. Now I'm just totally over it. Give me a tiara or an ear cuff. I'm good. I'm all set on the headpieces, but I do love a backpack. So carnival costumes usually come out months in advance before the actual day, right? So whether it's Kadoomit or it's Carnival Monday, Tuesday in Trinidad, whatever it is, it usually comes out months in advance. There should be no reason why a band is launching a couple of weeks before the road. That just doesn't make any sense. And if that is happening, abort mission. So there's usually a band launch and a band launch is basically a party slash fashion show where the band shows the costume presentation for that year. So there's usually, you know, DJs playing in the beginning and then later in the night when majority of the crowd is there, they'll start the fashion show aspect and begin showing the costumes. Usually bands allow you to register at the band launch. So if you know somebody in that country and you know what costume you want that night, then you can send them your money in advance, tell them which costume you want, and they can register you for the section and you usually just have to put a down payment. If you're not there, if you live in the States, normally bands uh, launch their websites uh, shortly after the band launch. Sometimes it's ready right after the costumes are shown or it may take a couple days or maybe the next week for them to actually put the costumes online. So you usually put down a deposit and then we'll be required to make payments up until it's time for distribution. When it is time for distribution, I definitely recommend that you pay your balance off before you get to the mass house. That way you're not standing in line for any additional amount of time. You can just there, pick up your costume, make sure that you inspect it, and then that'd be that. There's noise, I'm sorry. Speedboats and jet skis happening right now. Good times. Oh, now police are coming. Warning. Whatever you see at the band launch is usually not all there is, meaning per section. So you might see someone come out in a front line piece and you might see someone come out in a back line piece, basic back line piece. But they may not show you all the other options that they have for that costume. There could be a wire bra option, there could be a boy short option, there could be a monokini option, there could be an option with big collars or small collars. There are so many different options that they have, but they just don't show them at the band launch. They're normally just limited on time, right? So they're not gonna show six sections of the same costume. So there is some variety with each costume, but there are some sections where that's what you see, that's what you get, i.e. Emerald Lush for Jamaica Carnival 2018 was only frontline. What you saw there, that green piece, all the feathers, sexy little monokini, that was that. There were no alternates. However, if there is a costume that you see and it's one of those situations where what you see is what you get, you can have someone or you can yourself make a piece to match that costume. For me, for example, I've made wire bras for people who had a costume where they only had like a regular bra option or there was only a monokini option. So I was like, they're like, okay, I really want a wire bra. Can you do this to match this costume? And 
More than likely, yes, I can. Is it gonna be exact? Probably not. Am I going to find the exact gems and the exact bling and, and trim that they use for the piece? No, but I will try my hardest to do so. If you live in the New York area or the tri-state area, wherever close, and you, you're willing to take a road trip, High's Trim is um, a distributor for uh, carnival accessories. And they also make a lot of the things um, that you see for Trinidad Carnival, crop over, et cetera. So a lot of designers actually go there. So you could luck out and find exactly what you need there. And you can also find it, Shador Official, I'm gonna drop these links below as well, is also a very good site um, to get that from. And they both ship. Right, so if you know what you're looking for, you can contact Highest Trim, drop an email, send pictures of um, the trim and the gems that you need. They'll put your order together, you pay for it, they ship it to you. Haven't done it yet, but that's what I've been told because I've been in communication with um, the representatives from uh, Highest Trim. If you're on the website and you're registering for your costume and you see that it only goes up to a certain bra size or they only have a panty you need to contact the band house for information normally there is someone standing by to um, respond to questions and they're fairly good at um, doing that depending on your band but for the most part I haven't had a lot of difficulty getting my questions answered from band houses now if for some reason you registered for this costume and you realize that you can't go anymore or something has happened in your life where you are unable to attend this event or you're unable to play mass anymore, you can sell your costume or you can put it up for sale, I should say. And you can do that, start posting on Instagram, Facebook, start posting on finaband.com, which is basically the hub for all Caribbean related ticket sales. You can find FETs on there, you can find uh, costume sales on there, lodgings, but just be cautious of who you um, buy from or sell to. Let's talk about distribution. So normally bands start to distribute costumes about a week before the road, I, I wanna say. Uh, like a whole like a business week and sometimes they will have a distribution schedule by section so whatever section you're in your pickup might be on that Monday section B might be on the Tuesday and so on and so forth if you're unable to pick up your costume yourself then you can arrange for a friend or a concierge to pick it up for you. And what you'll need to do is send them your receipt, send them a copy of your ID, and send them an authorization letter that you type and sign um, so that they can bring that to the band house to pick up your items. But you do need to pay in full before you do this, or if you trust that person, give them the money so that they can pay uh, when they get to the band house. Another thing that you need to do when you get there is inspect the costume before you walk away from the counter. A lot of times people just pick up the box and they go. That is not recommended. A representative will be there and they'll show you each piece by piece and that's nice, but you should take it in your hands yourself. Make sure that everything that's needed is in the box before you walk away. So sometimes I've been in a rush or I haven't really paid that much attention. I'm like, oh, I'm missing the strings for this or oh they didn't give me x y and z and it's like you don't want to go through that because nobody wants to go back to the band house and then you don't want to deal with people who have been in the line and then you're like oh but i was just here you don't got time for that drama take your time you've paid hundreds sometimes thousands of dollars for this costume you need to make sure that what you paid for is in the box it's fun right like picking it up is very exciting you want to go early as if you can get there early when they open up, please do so. I do not recommend waiting until um, the last hour or however, or the last day. I am graduating from the whole fet after fet after fet life and am more so trying to relax and enjoy, just enjoy the downtime when traveling, but you wanna make sure that you have those holes and those, those gaps in your schedule so that you can pick up your items. If you are about that life, then by all means have a concierge service pick up your 
costume for you, there is a fee for that. Normally they're not just doing this out of the kindness of their hearts, but you could have a friend that's doing it out of the kindness of their heart. But concierge services do charge to pick up costume packages. Um, so you can hit up Mango Reef Promotions. I think sometimes Scotch Crew does costume pickups. Carnival by Candy. There's a number of concierges out there uh, for you to look up. Okay, friends, do not judge me. I totally forgot to record an outro, but as usual, thank you so much for tuning in. Please be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. If you have any questions, drop them below, and I will answer as best as I can. And another Ting's Life's blog post is always around the corner. Thank you. Awesome.